While AnimateCC does have a robust publish process for each platform it supports, you can also export many types of assets from your projects, including video, animated GIF, and more. So here we have this animation of a hippo who bounces around with a couple of blasters. And what we want to do is export this initially as video. So to do that, we can choose File, Export, and Export Video. This gives us the Export Video dialog with a number of choices. So right now it's rendering at 1280 by 720, which is the stage size that we created the project at. However, you could always make this larger or smaller. You can choose to ignore stage color by generating an alpha channel if you wish with this checkbox here. And this checkbox is going to convert the video in Adobe Media Encoder once it has been rendered. We're choosing to stop the export when the last frame is reached, but if you would like, you could always choose a specific time to end it at. And then of course, you can browse to the location where you want to save the file. Once you're ready, just hit export and animate will export everything for you as raw video. Now the video it exports will need to be converted in order to be viewed on most devices. So Adobe Media Encoder is perfect for doing that. If we don't want a video, we can always export as an animated GIF. To do this, choose File, Export, Export Animated GIF. With that choice, we get the Export Image dialog with animated GIF selections already preset. Down in the animation section, we can always choose whether we want it to loop once or forever. And we have a number of different controls where we can control the playback. We can also adapt this because right now it's quite heavy at seven megabytes. So if we take this down to about 30% of its original size, it's a lot less weighty at 1.3 megabytes. When ready to export, just click Save, and the animated GIF will be saved to your hard drive. There are also a number of other export options under the File menu. File Export, where you can export different image types. And if you go into the Publish settings for the document, depending upon your document type, you'll have a number of additional formats aside from the primary publish target that you can choose, such as SVG image and OAM package in the case of HTML5 Canvas.